In this video, we're going to take you on a journey as a player showing how you can essentially craft NFTs and have them synchronized to the blockchain in real time in your game. So let's go ahead and look at this project. It's an Unreal project. We're going to run this project inside of Unreal. And you'll see uh, this view here. Typically, you would not see this as a player. There's three windows on your screen. The top left will show uh, the player logging into their wallet. Normally, this would not happen this way, but for the purpose of transparency, you will see that happen. And then we'll have persistently the transaction and the general information screens. That's going to show you those blockchain transactions as they occur in-game in real time. So the player has an objective here. Uh, and you can see their wallets now synchronized on the top right. The objective in this particular scene is to go to this crafting area, acquire two weapons on the left, which you'll see in the recipe, to generate the weapon on the right. Well, how do you get the two weapons on the left? Those are NFTs, I might add. You have to get them by killing the players that have these NFTs. A real bummer for that player. And we see the two players there patiently waiting to be killed, and we're going to go ahead and do that now. We're going to launch a little rocket and they are no longer on this earth and we will see that they've dropped two weapons, the weapons we need for our crafting project. Our player will pick up the first weapon on the left and you'll see in real time uh, that this NFT is being collected and being put into their wallet. It's actually transacting on chain as we speak. It's just part of the gameplay. Again, normally you would not see this stuff you would hide it from the player it's distracting but for our demo why not show it so he's picking up the second weapon again these are ingredients and he's going to now go back to the crafting table to turn them into the third nft the rare collectible nft a very powerful mechanic by the way uh in terms of rewarding a player for achieving something to take these two ingredients yes he does now have the guns on the left and he will now use them to craft the gun on the right before we do that let's just head over to ready on the open web. He's gonna log into the same wallet on the open web in the player area on the ready website. And in there, he should see in his wallet two NFTs that he recently acquired in game. This just shows the synchronization is happening. And so now we will wait for a moment and the player is going to look at his inventory and we see in fact, the two guns. Now he is going to destroy these two NFTs in the act of crafting the third. They will ultimately disappear to be replaced by this rare valuable collectible sniper rifle he goes to his crafting table he begins to initiate the crafting process and what you see here are the transactions occurring on chain you should see his inventory erase uh, from his profile on the right side of our screen and sure enough he now owns this collectible sniper rifle we'll hop back over to the web and just take a look for a moment did his inventory refresh yes it did you now see that he owns this rifle I will say, as a point of fact, um, these processes can be batched uh, to deal with things like latency. In terms of a fast-paced game, you'd probably want to batch these transactions to uh, when the scene is over. Uh, but nonetheless, we saw this in real time occurring on chain. Just a small piece of what we offer here at Ready Games in terms of Web3 game development.